Hello, welcome to the Citri Dorset. I'm Sarah and I'm going to demonstrate to you now our little pouch bag. This is a little triangular purse which can be used for uh, doggy treats or for loose coins or pretty much anything. It's just a little lined purse, nice and bright and funky colours. So we're doing those in three different colours. Um, we're going to do this one in, in these two shades. It's lining the top fabric. I've already interfaced the fabrics and this all comes within the kit. So you get a um, medium weight fusible interfacing for the lining and a high loft fusible interfacing for the main fabric. And that gives it a lovely, sturdy feel to the bag. Right, so I'm going to start off with the tab. And that's just a piece of bias binding which comes in the kit. And so straight down the side, that and then down the other side as well. That's one side done. Down the other side. There's enough in the kit to make two pouch bags so this length just gets folded in half, cut in two and that's that's one for each one. Right, on to the zip. I'm going to change my foot for a zipper foot. Just adjust where my needle is going to land. Nice and close to the line of the zip. There is no direction on this fabric. The birds go either way. So we can just sew it in either direction but on the one of the little animals on it is directional so just make sure that the heads are up the right way when you're sewing the zip on. Right position the zip just a tiny amount in from the edge then layer up your lining fabric on top make sure it's all nice and straight down through and then sew down through the first side of the zip. And then we will go to top stitching next. Again, a slight, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge of the folded fabric. Let loose thread. Right, and then do the other side. So now we've got the zip up upside down. Again, zip down facing the main fabric, lining fabric on top. Make a second sandwich, just make sure they're nicely lined up. Sew down that second side. Open the zip. right the way down through to the end, turn it all so as the right sides are facing and then top stitch down the opposite side of the zip. the zip back up again. I'm just going to take off those couple of long threads. Get it out of the way. 
Right, and now we're going to sew along the bottom of the bag. So just position the zip in the centre and in about one centimetre in from the... I'm just going to change my foot again on the sewing machine. Back to the regular foot. And the position of the needle back to the normal position. Okay. So we're about one centimetre in from the bottom of the bag. Straight stitch again. Right across the zip. And then we just trim off those couple of threads. Right, and then we're going to just tidy this edge up and cut away that zip. And then we're going to change the stitch to a zigzag stitch. And just a zigzag across that bottom edge, just to hold everything in place, keep it tidy. And that will go straight across the zip again. And I will just go backwards and forwards over the zip just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Okay, right. Trim off those couple of lengths of thread to the top. Open the zip right down. We're now going to put in our little tab. So fold it over to make a loop, position it just to the right hand side of the zip and with a straight stitch we'll just bar tack that into place about one quarter of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Then when we come to do the seam in a moment that will all get hidden within the seam. So now we're just going to make the pouch shape, the triangular shape. So it's, it was flat, you've got your little tab there. So you're now going to position the two bits of zip together. I just overlap these slightly so as they are not completely on top of each other to make it easier to sew over the top of and then pull that back out flat and then we're going to straight stitch along that top edge. <laughs> you can hear our dog in the background. <laughs> Hopefully not about to attack the cat. Okay, so that's the top edge. We're now just going to trim that top edge off and the zip. And then we're going to put the zigzag the same along that top edge. Now I do tend to use a three point zigzag stitch, but you can just use a normal zigzag or an overlock stitch. It just holds everything nice and tidy, tidies up the edges, stops anything from fraying or getting in the way when you're using the bag. Turn off those last couple of threads and that is the pouch bag finished. Turn it all the right way around. Just push out those corners with my pokey tool. Now I've now just give it a good iron. But that is your little bag. And in the kit you also get a carabiner 
which you can pop onto the bag and then you can hang that inside of a tote bag you can hang it onto a doggy's lead if you want to put doggy treats in it um, and and it's a perfect little just a different little bag to take out and about with you there we are